Shaka. Ajay, yeah. So, good evening to all of you present here. Uh, my name is Ashish Kashyap, and today is the day four of the ongoing web dev week that's been currently being conducted by the GDSC IIIT Bhopal team. Today, we have Ajay Sharma from third year as our speaker, and he would like to take a session named Using Node.js for More Than Just Web. So please attend today's session with great enthusiasm and zeal. And don't forget that at the end of this today's session, we would conduct quiz number two of the web dev week, which would be based on the last session of Node.js and Express. And the top three winners would be awarded with swags, right? So without any further ado, uh, Ajay, you can start. Okay, so 20 people, only 20 people are running, right? Yeah. My screen should be visible right about now. Right? Yes, yes, yes. the so, screen is. So, yeah, yeah, cool. So, we'll start. so, hey guys, we'll do a short and simple session, okay? Although this is the dev week, right? Node.js, which is a mainstream, you know, tech used in this area. As you know, right, from the past few days, you have been getting familiarized with Node.js. So we'll learn some implementations out of web, right? What we can do with Node.js. So let's go on our agenda quickly. So we'll explore Node.js application in IoT. How we can implement it, right, in IoT as a server, obviously. Of, uh, this is in context with IoT devices. Okay. Now, for overview of an actual Node.js server as a product, I will briefly give you an overview of an actual Node.js server for IoT product, and you know, which is actually implemented uh, in a live environment. Uh, okay. Uh, I cannot give you much info, but that I'll, I'm doing an internship. I'll show you around the project. Uh, next. I'll show you around another Node.js module, so to say, which also I made a project for a internship, which monitored CCTV health, right, for police stations. It was also an actual product, although we cannot see the actual product, obviously. Further, we'll conclude the session with exploring, you know, what are the horizons, what we can explore with other than these two applications. And we'll also go over why you know this is all possible. What does the role the dev community play in making these all these applications possible? So it is repetitive. We'll move over. Right. So M community, I'm not sure how many of you are familiar with, but it is a protocol basically like HTTPS. It so uh, as it says here, mainly uh, used for mobile devices, any microcontroller which is situated in a, you know, in a real world scenario where it has to collect data. We cannot do with collect, we cannot do much with the collected data, right? We have to put it in the cloud, do some processing on it, show it in the front end, show it in application, right? So that's where the role of server comes in. So in, here in this, uh, you can see, right? So the application which I'll take you through is basically, uh, loom weaving factory on which every loom uh, it is automated machine is equipped uh, with an iot device which collects all the data the vital data of the machine all the starter that is necessary for its functioning maintenance etc it publishes everything to impurity broker obviously we cannot go over detail and regarding how impurity broker works you'll get to know this in it is actually present in our course in third year uh, if you choose IoT subject, you will encounter this impurity. Okay, so impurity basically facilitates flow of data between a publisher and a subscriber. In this case, publisher are the devices; they publish their data. This is a subscriber which subscribes to data and does the processing and all. Actually, makes use of the data, right? So we'll go over the product briefly. Okay. Ashish, no, no problem in audio and all, right? Everything fine? Yeah. Go ahead. So, <clears throat> so 
server is starting and come back to it. Let's move over to our next <clears throat> next topic, which is on with. Okay. Now on with again is a third party protocol, which is used not by IoT devices, but by CCTV camera, right? It is an open network video interface, right? At your homes or at offices, you must have seen many cameras, you know, cables connecting to a single device which is situ situated there. They are generally called DVR, or in modern days, those devices are called as NVR, network video recorder, right? I'm sure you must be familiar with them. In our college, also you can see a couple of them. Okay, so what happens usually is a company, let's say, uh, Hitachi manufactures CCTV cameras, right? So it will provide a Windows software, right? Any software coupled with it to pro access the camera, start recording, right? Uh, to put the video on internet, etc. So what happens in this case is uh, uh, we can put our we can put our PC on the same network as the IP cameras are. CCTV, cam CCTV cameras are basically IP cameras. They communicate over internet protocol. Right, so they can be called IP camera. So they communicate over IP based communication, right? So Node.js can basically intercept that uh, their communication and take out the vital information, right? If the camera is working or not, right? Uh, uh, it can also give uh, instructions to the camera, to the individual IP cameras, uh, to turn, etc. It can basically operate uh, the camera, right? Conclusion being, you can operate a CCTV camera using Node.js running on a PC with the same network as the IP camera. Now, next, uh, I'll tell you how it is actually done. Okay, so it is a very simple module uh, called Node on -Web, Okay, on -Web being the protocol name, Node on is a module npm package. Okay, now we'll go through some code uh, over some code quickly. Okay, so what we do here is start probing. Probing is meant here in the context that we are probing for devices over the network. Okay, so if you are inside the IP, uh, I don't know if you know or not, but there's IP range, right? You will see first three digits of the IP same, three uh, digits in the dot same, and the last digit will vary. That means if the first three parameters of the IP address are being constant, that means those devices are on the same network. Right? Uh, we are talking about IPv4 address. So 256 devices, you know, can be on the same network. It is a whole different story if you go with IPv6 address. But let's talk about IPv4 address. So what it does is probe to each of the address possible, IP address possible on the same network on which our PC is, probes it and gives us output that Node.js which is on the same network has detected this number of CCTV cameras on the network. Okay, so you can do it at your home if you have CCTV camera and all, right? Just hook your PC into the same network, run this script, or uh, you can operate your cameras, kinda, not fully, but uh, kinda, the other. Okay. Next to we will. Okay, so if you you know if you are curious enough to delve into the software the company provides okay for example for example we took hitachi right so we'll go with hitachi what happens is they give you a chrome kind of interface in which this url which you are seeing x address okay this uh, is the address on which a stream uh, video output from the camera is streamed on right so what needs uh, node.js can do for you is actually get this URL for you. Okay, this URL is kind of basic. So you just provide ID password and you can stream. Once you get this stream of video from the actual IP camera, right? You can actually stream it on your mobile or anywhere on the internet, basically. Once you have it inside your Node.js server, right? Node.js as a server is very versatile. Not just limited to web applications, right? So you can access it. So you can use it to access IP cameras. I think that's pretty cool, right? So it gives you a RTSP URL. RTSP is a, a whole different protocol used for media streaming. Okay, so you know live streaming is actually done via this RTSP URL you are seeing here, right? 
so it's hella important if you del if you want to delve into it obviously we cannot do it right now beyond the scope now we'll go over the actual code i think the server will have started okay. so the data which i was talking about right these are the looms secreted in the factory the this is actually in the factory okay this, uh, i'm logged in via team bro so this is the actual code this is a whole another pc this is the actual code uh, managers are using it for evaluating efficiency and all okay so what happens is uh, we it, we get all the vital uh, data necessary for machine right total running time how long the machine has been running total stoppage time total stoppage everything right what error is it red means the machine is down why is it down we can see it has this everything everything is done by a node server i'll show you the server is the server okay this is pretty intensive you don't need to know it all but what it does is basically collects the data from hardware this is the actual product right you don't have to uh, you know get distracted and all but basically what it does is get the data okay we'll go back to our flow chart what it does is get the data from all this uh, hardware and publishes uh, collects it in the nodejs and what it does next is send it via the socket connection to the arch content i'm not sure if the sockets have come have came up during this session but if they have <laughs> it is again uh, you know different protocol with which the node js server with uh, communicate with react front you know we could have used http a simple rest apis and all also here but obviously the socket is ideal for real time communication which is needed here right you see the data updating in real time so sockets are essential for that okay this time you can see incrementing in real time 18 seconds it has been down for 15 seconds and all so you know if if you really want to you know go into depth you can always connect with me later but for now i just want to introduce you with the wide variety of you know applications of node js what you can accomplish with it etc etc okay i'll also show you around the code for the on with this is not the actual production code i cannot show you that obviously but uh, what it does is we have separate code for dvr and nvr obviously right this node on on with works for both of them so dvr were basically used in the you know previous uh, before 2000 before 2010 or something nvr are basically doing the market of that dvr for digital video recorders nvr are network video recorder okay so these were the two examples two prime examples i had lined up for you okay now mqdt is you know for this project it's okay you can see the application but for a variety of projects for your personal projects or especially for ec students if they have joined it okay you will use mqdt you will have to you know deviate to third party brokers like things the you know etc etc uh blink okay blink is a third party mqdt broker okay so ec students i'm sure will deviate towards this but if if you put in you know a little bit more effort you can set up your node js server that will be way more cool obviously if blink works fine for you no problem but that that so i think you know i have touched over major two applications which i wanted to walk you around okay after that code walk through i don't think you know as this interaction is you know one way right i don't see the point of going very deep into the code but nevertheless i think it's fair as long as you realize the importance right a variety of applications node js can help you and all so if uh, i am pretty much done if uh, you have any doubts i'll be really glad to take them does anyone have any doubt ajish are we doing doubt session at the end of the session hello yes. ajay yes. uh, yeah, yeah. i think you missed the last slide i, I just want to confirm it have you yeah yeah 
obviously thank you why not right so uh, with this thank you i will conclude the session but ashish yeah uh, do we have any doubt so, yeah we have a yeah. q and a round where if yeah, anybody yeah. has any doubts or wants any suggestions from ajay they can ask sure sure any you know i'll i'll tell you the scope of what you can ask me okay so in obviously if you're interested in web prashant pande i think gave a really good you know session he delved into the node js so the basics pretty deeply so and even that you know okay or anything where you want to ask anything about node js even that you can ask me i'll be really glad to answer that so yeah i think we should start the q and a okay Okay. Do we have any questions? Yeah. So I'll repeat this last time. Do we? If you have any questions, we'll take them up now. Okay. I guess we don't. So I guess we can stop the recording. So recording stop. So thank you so much, uh, Ajay, for conducting such a great session. I hope our participants got a great overview of how to node uh, use Node JS in the field of you know IoT and embedded applications and what its scope is. And now it's uh, quiz time and a chance for our participants to win free GDSC T-shirts. And the quiz would be based on what Prashant taught. Uh, in the last session and it would be pretty easy like anybody can answer that if you have studied the basics right so i'm posting the link over in the chat box please answer it it would be like uh, 12 to 15 questions and those would be pretty easy so uh, your time starts now Ashish, we are done, right? I can leave. Yeah, you can leave. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye. Thank you so much, Ajay, for attending. Okay, cool. Bye. Bye. Uh, sir, this chat box is showing that it is available to team members only. So, can you please turn it on? Yeah. Uh, Tanav, if you are present, can you please check? Okay, I'm posting the link on the Discord channel as well. You can, you guys can access from there. 